Hey everybody, welcome back to Greener Radio. I'm Rich. And this is Drew. Here we are again. Uh, after the last video, some things have happened, and my partner Drew said we got to get back on the air ASAP. Immediately. Yeah, and uh, talk about a few issues that are going on here in the state of Colorado, and a few issues that are happening outside the state of Colorado. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed all the videos so far on Greener Radio and uh, Nature's Medicine. So please uh, stick around, continue to uh, watch and listen for your educational green politics and cannabis news. Uh, we're going to kick it over to Drew right now. He's going to kind of start off the forum with uh, some things that uh, seem to be bothering some people around here. And we'll go that way. Drew, what do you got? Yeah, man. So today I just wanted to get together because there's been some crazy shit happening in Colorado. Um, the first thing is is that uh, the BS that the Colorado Department of Health tried to pull um, with this quiet little quick meeting to try to, to uh, you know, it was an emergency, you're right, um, uh, to re redefine the primary caregiver um, and they actually ended up making that happen this time. Um, even though Rob Corey stood up for Colorado and its patients uh, tremendously at that hearing, um, basically, uh, even as far as to get told that he was going to be in contempt of court is how bad it got over there with this private emergency meeting. Um, straight up BS, bullshit, because I can say it on the internet. I'm tired of this Colorado Department of Health that has put a program together for the people and it's not even as remotely about the people. Yeah, listen, first of all, an emergency uh, means an emergency. I mean, like 911 is an emergency. Right, right. Um, I don't know in a state that has a budget deficit right now that can afford to call an emergency meeting, which costs money, um, to decide the fate of a primary caregiver. Yeah. Uh, we were in line over there and we were talking to one of the gentlemen that was actually standing in front of the door to the courtroom uh, for the hearing and we asked him what his job was and his job was what to printing the cards yeah he was printing the cards and we asked standing him standing in front of a door telling people that we could not come into a public hearing because there was too many people in there instead of printing the cards that they're so far behind on yeah they're so far behind but yet this guy's out there standing in front of the door making sure no one else goes into this hearing and no cards got printed the day of the hearing folks we got to stand up and write into the health department okay we pay ninety dollars each one of us. A year? Um, it's to my understanding there's 13,000 plus patients right now that have sent that $90 in. Um, I don't know, that's what, 1.3 million? Uh, and I'm not a mathematician, I'm just going off the top of my head, but 1.3 million dollars we've given already to the state of Colorado. I don't know what they're doing with the money, but hire, do something. Uh, no, what they did is they took $300,000 out of the budget for the marijuana thing that goes strictly to freaking buy whatever the state needs to use that for instead of hiring a few more people is what I heard. Right. Yeah, you know, I've heard that too. Listen, in January, uh, according to the state, uh, legislation is going to come back and discuss some of the regulations and things they want on dispensaries and in the me uh, medicinal marijuana industry. And so we'll have to wait for legislation. Rob Corey was uh, in court the other day. He was threatened with a contempt. Uh, the court actually told Rob Corey to sit down and shut up. I've never heard anything like that said to an attorney before in my life, especially not to an attorney that can make your life a living hell. Um, the following day, an injunction was filed, and once again, this will go to the Supreme Court. And uh, be overturned be, like last time? Yeah. They said overturned. that they, they didn't have any merit to do that because of the fact that they did not uh, allow enough time for the public to hear about it. And so I think that's exactly what's going to happen this time. But it's just BS. They keep on continuing to use our money um, and, and not use it for getting this program on track like it should be. Yeah, and, and listen, listen they, 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 they're doing what they think they have to do. Uh, the Court of Appeals last week uh, decided that to be a primary caregiver, you have to have somewhat of a relationship. You have to providing other services. So after the Court of Appeals made their decision, the State Board of Health for the state of Colorado said, okay, well, let's have an emergency meeting because of this. Well, they're, they're just not as bright as they need to be down there. They should have probably done a few more things. And like Colorado Springs, maybe, and actually brought the people in and heard yeah, what they had to say. Yeah, ab absolutely. We were just yeah. up there yesterday as I made him go along with me, and he didn't know on the last show that we were going to that. But uh, we went to that last night. It was actually great. Colorado Springs, uh, the two guys that sit there on the council, I can't remember the names. Uh, the one guy I know, Page, Sean Page, uh, and, and uh, another gentleman. Another from gentleman from the, the council um, was really into what... Uh, they could do to try to make this something that could be workable, that we're all together on the same page, come up with an agreement. Um, they're putting together the 
It's an ad, ad, hoc, ad, ad hoc ruling, basically. Yeah. What it Drug is is task for, or marijuana task force. Yeah, or marijuana task force. What they're doing is they're bringing people down to Colorado Springs. They're doing it the right way, as a city should do. And I, and I hope other cities call Colorado Springs and talk to these guys because these guys are doing it for the people. What they've done is two city council members have come together and asked the people of Colorado Springs that are interested in what's going on, whether you're a patient, a caregiver, dispensary owner, or you just live in the neighborhood and you want to know what's going on, to come on in and discuss this. They're building, what they're going to do is take all these ideas, they're going to build a steering committee, and they're going to put all these ideas into a funnel and get them all funneled down into what exactly the community needs, uh, including the dispensaries, the caregivers, the growers, you name it. And uh, then they're going to bring that to the city council, and hopefully by the end of January, the city council will make an informed decision based on what the public need and public want. So that's what Colorado Springs is doing, and we are very impressed. We've been to yeah, we like 10, 11 different cities uh, around the state of Colorado, and uh, these guys are just uh, phenomenal. They're doing a great job. And only, there was only really one big deal that was a on the other side that shouldn't even be talked about, and that is that if you guys are in the wrong zones, you're by a school, that's your own fault, that's something you should have thought about before you even started like me and Rich did. And if the freaking law has changed to where there's rules and regulations and you fall into the spot that you were not thinking right and you're in a school zone, you're by a church, uh, you're somewhere where kids go frequently, um, you're going to have to pick up and, and make a change. Yeah, you know, I, I don't think you should have anybody think about grandfathering you in um, plain and simple, you should not be by a school, and you got to go. Yeah, we know there's liquor stores, we know there's gun stores on corners, every corner in Denver, and, and they're by schools and things like that. But let's be better than that. You guys, think ahead of time. When we first got into this business eight months ago in Nature's Medicine, uh, we thought ahead of time. We thought wellness. We thought get away from the necessary public eye. Uh, don't put a marijuana leaf on your sign. That's what we're about. Um, so, you know, think about that before you go out and make decisions. And don't uh, take it out on law enforcement or the city councils for wanting to zone you in an area that they feel is appropriate. Just like an adult bookstore or this. These are things we have to deal with right now. If they're going to allow us into their communities, guys, we got to give a little too. This is a give and take. Let's work together, make some things happen. And believe it or not, in the long run, it's going to help all of us. Anything else, Drew? Yeah, man. I just wanted to talk a little bit about Breck. Love yeah. Breck. Right. 71% uh, of the uh, voters there voted for legalization of one ounce or less. Um, the people spoke, but unfortunately law enforcement is still talking some bullshit. Uh, Mr. Holloman said, in, in, uh, despite the vote from the people, he is still going to ticket marijuana users because of the fact that it is so easy to obtain. Plain and simple is, it doesn't matter how easy it is to obtain, if you obtain that license, sir, we are legal to use marijuana in the state of Colorado. And so therefore, you need to listen to your council member that was talking before you in the article and uh, say that this is a good thing because the law enforcement does not have to focus their attention on it anymore. So listen to your city, listen to your state, and make sure that you do not give any tickets out there that is not freaking uh, deserving. Yeah, don't cost your city money. I mean, these are just wasteful cases that end up in court and either being uh, pushed off and dropped or charging somebody $100. But to charge somebody $100 for a ticket costs the court over five, dollars $600 because of transcripts, the judge being their attorneys. It, it really does add up for these cities that don't have any money. Yeah, because, I mean, we got 14 states now that it's legal. Um, we got five states now that are allowing dispensaries, Colorado, California, Rhode Island, Maine, New Mexico. New Jersey's about to come on board um, with having that as well, so these guys need to really start paying attention. Yeah, listen, this is America. It was, it's what we want. It's for the people, right? It's for the patient. Yeah, people well, yeah, but I mean, America in general is for the people. It's, we have rights, uh, you know. I don't so, see anybody freaking driving, going crazy about, oh my God, my family member's on a pharmaceutical. Let's start raising hell about that. I'm fucking tired of hearing it. Yeah, I am. I, you know what? That's exactly right. That's the right fucking attitude. Don't go after people. And that's why the F4 needs things. to come out. I'm fucking tired of I'm hearing sorry, it. I'm sorry, but I am. Alcohol, tobacco, over-the-counter narcotics are killing at least a million people a year when you add all three of those up. People, 
What are Common they using? sense. Are they using it for like uh, population control? They want those to stay in because they actually kill people and marijuana doesn't. So is that what we're trying to do here? Yeah. And you know what I want to know? If I go to Walgreens and ask for my oxycontins, do I got to have a personal relationship with the pharmacist? Right. Does he come out and shake my hand and say, hey, thank you very much for buying these oxys today. We hope your pain goes away. Please come and see me. No, yeah. Here's this box of Viagra. Can I come help you hold your unit for you? Or <laughs> right, I'm not right. staying up for four hours. <laughs> right, right. Come back and see me.